Make sure that you support Solar Brooklyn and I'm going to let uh, DJ Trauma take it out. You all can dance in the interim, you can rock in your seat, you can do the two step, whatever you want to do. And in the next five minutes we're going to get started with Rip the Runway and the most beautiful and fantastic models and fashion designers in Brooklyn, New York. Thomas on the red carpet at the Soul of Brooklyn Fashion Show, and she is the designer of Live Again. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm very well. You actually opened the show, so you were the first designer on. How did that feel? Spectacular. I had a grand time. Uh, it was wonderful to come out and uh, give Brooklyn a taste of my creations. How would you des describe your style that you designed for the women's wear line? I would say it's classic if you would say it, it never goes out of style so to speak uh, our t-shirts you know hand painted the the skirts hand painted as well um, live again I if you see I, I've done like a Bob Marley um, Bruce Lee just a lot of positive um, folks who have passed on who've left positive messages I just want to bring it back and just give it a boost <laughs> covering the soul of Brooklyn Fashion Show and I'm speaking with one of the designers who just showed, Cecilia Seely of Purple Pill Babies. Yes, hi, how are you doing? So good, how are you feeling? You just debuted your collection. I'm feeling good, it was my first show, so I'm like, really? really? It was, yes. How long have you been designing for? I've been designing for like two years. And what made you pick the name Purple Pill Babies? That's really interesting. Thank you. Um, so Purple Pill Babies is paying homage to the movie The Matrix. So the blue pill, if you know what that means, the red pill, if you know what that means. And when you put it together, we're all Purple Pill Babies. You know, we want ignorance is bliss, but we want to know. We want infinite knowledge. And, um, and through my designs, you know, it's like pretty much that's what I'm doing. I'm mixing this pretty modern, you know, kind of un-African way of living with the traditional African elements, so it's kind of like just really a mixture. I have a whole term for my for my whole collection, so it's called Eclectic African Chic. Justice Bell, and you had the line with the jewelry. Right, right. Um, uh, Justice Bell, the Rock Goddess Jewelry Collection. It's a uh, gold, metal, silver, pearls, and gemstones and Swarovski crystals. And it's beautiful. That sounds like exotic and like high quality. It is. It is high quality. Uh -huh. It is definitely exotic. Um, all the pieces are custom made, um, and I only do them in limited quality, so you won't see that many people with your pieces. <laughs> How long have you been doing the jewelry line? Um, I actually just started my first launch actually this year. 
Uh, my mother makes jewelry. I've always been slightly obsessed with jewelry. So the rock artist collection that you just showed on the runway, what was your inspiration behind that? Beautiful stones. Like I, I love all types of colors, rocks, um, and it was pretty much just an experimentation to see what I could do. You know, if I, if I saw something I thought it was beautiful, I would just get it, you know. Come again, 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 Me and Jaleza. Anissa Ansari of Brown Skin Ladies. Paying homage to all the beautiful brown skin women. Of course, of course, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell everybody where you're from. Brooklyn. Born and raised strictly, yes. I know the um, fashion show is a dedication to like African businesses and designers. Are you your nationality? Are you African? Uh, I consider myself an African born in America, but I was born here. Duh, yeah. So I am African, yes. <laughs> Tell everybody what like your collection was that you just showed and describe like what your inspirations were and where you were going with it. Well, I love colors and different prints, but I knew there needs to be a way to tie it all together. So I used the hood as a way to tie it all together. Um, I like everything from pants. There's nothing in particular that I want to stick to. I love it all, so I showed it all. So yeah. Were any, what was like your favorite trend that you used this time around? Pants, because I finally learned how to do it. You just learned how to do pants? <laughs> yeah, so I, I tried to put it in there. So it was it was fun to know how to do it and put it in the fashion show. So, so you're a really new designer then? Yeah. I, I crochet mostly before. So mm -hmm. I'm used to crochet designing, but okay. now it's fabric, so I'm new to that. So how long has it been really for you? Uh, four years. Okay. Four years. So not that new, it's just different medium. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I was definitely excited about all the stuff you've seen. I want to put on like a little hood and just like, walk down the street with this. <laughs> you know you, what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Founder and the executive director of Soul of Brooklyn, Lori Cumbo. Hi, Lori. How are you? I love this. Thank you. This was actually made by a director of education at Mokata. It's just talent everywhere. There actually is talent everywhere, and you're so great for exposing this in Brooklyn and like bringing everyone outside. It's a beautiful summer day. Such a good show. What made you want to start doing this? When I see beautiful women like you, I feel like we have to do something to celebrate that and to give it a platform. And I was so excited to bring together the fashion designers in Brooklyn, New York, bring them to Fort Greene and expose them because our talent is just everywhere. There's so much creativity all throughout the borough of Brooklyn. And we need to create a platform for that so that we can celebrate it. And we can also create an economy around it as well, too. So my main goal at the end of the day is for these businesses, fashion designers, clothing designers, uh, graphic designers, DJs, musicians, restauranteurs, everybody, we should be making more money and bringing in more resources to the borough because Brooklyn is hot right now. 
can the businesses of the African diaspora, how can the cultural institutions benefit from this boom that's taking place? That's amazing. You know, like, we don't really get so many, we don't get so much spotlight, especially on people like from on the ground, and that's exactly what Dope Files does. So I'm so glad that we found you and we found the soul of Brooklyn. This has been a part of a whole week. This uh, event is one event that's part of Soul of Brooklyn Week, which is from June 18th through the 25th. And so it rained last week, so we were like on pins and needles. What are we going to do? But I was so happy that we were able to reschedule it for tonight. And the crowd and the turnout was amazing. It's a lot of young designers, fresh ideas, innovation that you don't normally get a chance to see. So I was really excited about that. Absolutely. I had a good time. We saw some great stuff here on the runway. Laura, you did a great job tonight. I just must say, just a woman in charge, Miss, Miss Obama. She's like a little Obama right here. <laughs>